The 2014 HTC One model pops up in leaks, though not the real thing. Sony seems to want to give another stab at smartwatches for the third time, and Samsung is also looking into making their own fitness band. Yeah, I'm Jaime Rivera, and don't remind me what I did for Christmas because all I want to do is go back. This is Pocket Now Daily. As expected a day after Christmas, it's a very slow day in the news department, but there are a ton of rumors. First of all, remember all that talk about Samsung working on pro devices and light devices? Well, as it turns out, their first device will apparently be, listen to this, the Samsung Galaxy Note 12.2 Pro, uh, which apparently we are getting at CES, even though I don't know how the CEO is gonna pronounce that full name without forgetting it. That's gonna be their next future Note device. We just don't know exactly what's gonna make this tablet a pro device. So stay tuned, we'll be at CES covering everything. Now another launch that we're waiting for CES 2014 is Samsung's first fitness band because apparently they didn't have enough with the Galaxy Gear and their own heart rate monitor. Apparently the company is also working on building their own band, we just don't know exactly what to expect from it with the Nike Fuel Band already being in the market. And almost every other company also doing the same thing and charging crazy amounts of money. For me $150 for a Nike Fuel Band is stupid when I could pay the same amount of money for a Pebble, but let's see what Samsung plans to bring to the table. Hopefully they do something good about it, though I don't expect it to. And yeah, we're gonna talk a little more about Samsung, but I promise that it'll be over here. So we've got some more reports on Tizen, and these are really interesting as we still don't know what to expect from this platform. We don't know if Samsung is planning to ditch Android over Tizen, but as it turns out, we've got some reports from the FCC that uh, the device that'll run Tizen first is a 720p resolution display on a 4.7 to 5 inch display, which doesn't really sound like a high-end phone to us when we're expecting 2K displays on the Galaxy. S5, so it does seem that Tizen is going to be a side project. The question is, what for? And speaking of the FCC, another device that just landed there is Sony's third smartwatch. And yeah, they do have two other smartwatches before the probable next one that's coming, even though they haven't been really famous. And yeah, they even own the name Sony Smartwatch. Uh, but we don't really know what to expect other than the fact that it's got Bluetooth capabilities, duh, and the fact that it's got NFC, which we also got on the second smartwatch. And it didn't make a dent, sadly, so we don't know how Sony's planning to differentiate this product, and we'll probably see it at MWC, we'll keep you posted. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we get the first official leak of the HTC One 2014 or 2 or whatever they're gonna call that thing. But this is really interesting because by this time last year, we had so many leaks of the HTC One that we knew what to expect. And the year before, we had so many leaks of the HTC One X that we knew what to expect. So all we get right now is actually a 3D print mock-up of what to expect from the design. And we don't really know what to expect either than the fact that it looks almost identical to the current HTC One. I would actually call the old or actual HTC One a better looking phone than what I'm seeing in this mockup. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. What would be your wish list to come in this future HTC One? What would you want? Because in my particular case, if HTC told me that they're keeping the current design of the HTC One and just giving me a better camera and a Snapdragon 800 processor, I would want that phone immediately. Uh, leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.